Warning, you'll never look at the sugar in your kitchen the same way again after learning about this intricate production process. Have you ever wondered how those tiny sugar crystals transform from sweet sugar cane or beets to your morning coffee? Join Captain Discovery on this fascinating journey, from field to table, to discover how sugar is made, a process requiring advanced technology and fine craftsmanship. Let's dive into the sweet world of sugar right now. Subscribe now and join Captain Discovery's journey! To understand the modern journey of pure white sugar crystals, we need to go back thousands of years to when humans first discovered the sweet allure of sugarcane. The history of sugar began around 8,000 years ago in Southeast Asia and India, where sugar cane was widely cultivated and used. Initially, sugar wasn't produced in crystals like today, but was mainly consumed as sugar cane juice. Around 500 BC, the Indians developed the techniques of crystallizing sugar from sugar cane juice, creating small sugar crystals that were easy to store and transport. This technique quickly spread along trade routes to the Middle East and then to Europe via the Arab conquests. Sugar was considered a luxury item throughout the Middle Ages, reserved only for the European nobility. It wasn't just a precious spice, but was also used as a medicine to treat various ailments. By the 16th century, as European empires began exploiting colonies in the Americas, sugar cane was widely planted on plantations, and sugar production became a booming industry. The 18th century saw a significant increase in demand for sugar, as it became an essential part of the daily diet. By the 19th century, with the advent of modern technologies like steam engines and industrial production methods, sugar prices dropped dramatically, making it accessible to all social classes. The development of sugar extraction from sugar beets provided an important alternative source for sugar production, especially in regions where sugar cane couldn't be grown. Today, sugar has become an indispensable part of daily life. From foods and beverages to industrial products, the advancement of production technology and globalization has made sugar widely available around the world in various forms, such as refined sugar, raw sugar, and brown sugar. Now let's dive into the sugar production process. How can sugarcane and sugar beets be harvested effectively? On a chilly morning, as the mist still lingers on the sugarcane leaves, the lush green fields in a peaceful countryside suddenly become busier than ever. The harvest season has arrived. The rustling of the wind through the sugarcane leaves blends with the sound of machinery, signaling a busy workday. The tall, straight sugarcane plants, heavy with sweet juice, are ready to fulfill their mission to become pure white sugar crystals. In this fertile land, sugarcane and sugar beets are the two main raw materials for the sugar industry.
From here, the journey of transforming raw sugar cane and beets into pure white sugar crystals officially begins. How is sugar juice extracted from sugar cane and sugar beets? Once the raw materials are transported to the factory, the sugar cane and sugar beets are quickly processed. Large, powerful extraction machines with a series of strong rollers take on the role of extracting the sugar juice from the raw materials. The sound of the extraction machines echoes as the rich sugar juice flows from the chopped sugar cane and beets like nature's sweet nectar. But not everything is sugar. The extracted juice contains impurities like soil, sand, and even fibers from the sugar cane. Meanwhile, the sugar cane and beet pulp left after extraction isn't wasted. It's used as organic fertilizer or biofuel. This closed loop process maximizes the use of raw materials, ensuring no part of the sugar cane or beets goes to waste. But to turn this raw sugar juice into the pure white crystals we know, more intricate and skillful steps are needed. Discovery Challenge In your daily life, which type of sugar do you use the most? A. White sugar for cooking and beverages B. Brown sugar Raw sugar for dishes with a unique flavor C. Granulated sugar for desserts and drinks Vote for A, B or C in the comments and share why you chose that type. We look forward to hearing your thoughts. How are our impurities removed from the sugar juice? The juice extracted from the sugar cane and beets contains many impurities that need to be removed. This is where advanced technology comes into play to clean and refine the juice. First, lime, calcium hydroxide, is added to the juice. Lime not only reacts with impurities, but acts as the unsung hero that separates them. The unwanted compounds in the juice coagulate into a sludge, making it easy to filter out. Next, carbon dioxide, CO2, is bubbled into the juice, creating a special chemical reaction that further purifies it. The juice is then meticulously filtered through high-tech filtration layers, removing all impurities and retaining only pure sugar essence. When looking at the crystal clear sugar juice, it's hard to imagine it was once full of impurities. But the journey isn't over yet. What we have now is just pure sugar juice, still requiring several more stages to transform into the sugar crystals we're familiar with. What process turns sugar juice into sugar crystals? The purified sugar juice is then transferred into an evaporator system to be concentrated. Here, the evaporators work continuously, removing excess water by creating steam at high temperatures. The multi-stage evaporation system ensures this process is as efficient as possible, concentrating the sugar juice to the maximum. The result is a thick, rich syrup full of natural sweetness, ready for the next step, crystallization. When the syrup has reached the necessary concentration, it's transferred to large crystallization tanks. Under precise control of temperature and pressure, tiny sugar crystals begin to form and gradually grow. Each crystal is nurtured in ideal conditions until it crystallizes into perfect sugar grains. This is the moment when science and nature combine to create something magical. Sweet syrup transforming into sparkling sugar crystals. How are sugar crystals best preserved after production? Once crystallization is complete, the sugar crystals need to be separated from the remaining syrup. To do this, centrifuges are used, large machines that spin at high speeds, separating the sugar crystals from the liquid syrup. The pure white sugar grains fall like snowflakes and are rinsed once more with pure water to ensure no traces of syrup remain. Next, the sugar crystals are transformed to modern drying ovens. Hot air flows through the sugar, removing any remaining moisture and achieving the perfect dryness. This dryness not only ensures long-term preservation, but also creates the characteristic crunch when touched. After drying, the sugar is graded by crystal size and purity, 
and then carefully packaged. Each bag of sugar not only contains sweetness, but also represents the result of a long journey filled with meticulous craftsmanship. Environmental protection is a crucial aspect of modern sugar production. Manufacturers continuously improve technology to minimize environmental impact, from reducing water usage in the extraction process to reusing byproducts from sugar cane and beets. Additionally, many sugar factories implement biological waste treatment measures, helping generate renewable energy and reducing carbon emissions. These efforts contribute to protecting the environment, ensuring that the sugar production process not only delivers sweetness, but also preserves our green planet. Thank you for joining us in exploring the production process of sugar. Enjoy exploring factory production with us? Like, share, and subscribe to Captain Discovery for more fascinating insights into manufacturing.